Let me tell you what I've been watching all day today. And it meant that I didn't sleep last night. Like I just, it'll be, I'll be up for like twenty four hours. When is nighttime for you nowadays? Fuck it, who knows? Um, <laughs> okay, daylight savings times really fuck things up. I hope it stays permanent. <laughs> right, that no. one hour is the problem. Oh yeah, that it, it's not the tw- <laughs> it, it, AM and PM were re- anyway. Um, I, I watched Police Activity on YouTube. This was this is one of the best YouTube channels ever. It's all the police body cam footage. I watched some wild shit go down today. This female police officer goes up to a house. She's just kind of not, she's just knocking on the door. Hey, anybody in there? This bitch comes running out with a big knife. I mean, I mean, we go from zero to light speed instantly. Bitch just coming out with the knife ah! and stabs the cop immediately. Stabs, her in, the, stabs huh. her in the arm. The cop, what a job. Freak, cop, the cop backs up down the stairs. The bitch, the knife, I guess, was stuck in the cop and then it fell out onto the ground. The cop screams into the, the fucking radio. She stabbed me! I've been stabbed! The lady goes to pick up the knife to stab the cop again, and the lady cop opens up on her. Bop, 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 bop. Like, guts her. And I do mean guts, guts her. Her <laughs> intestines are on the pavement, and she is sitting oh, up. Shit. She's sitting up on her knees. <sighs> doing that to the cop like with crazy eyes so and the and the and the, like when when, when here, i know that this like is a what zombie. happened when ev- every shit. every police yeah. officer who heard that female cop scream i've been stabbed and like scream it was you could tell she was afraid they came running like so much backup showed up and they're all just looking at cra- their five, i'm not exaggerating four guys in a circle around the female cop patching her up <laughs> she's pretty hot like like eventually you get to see somebody else's point of view and she's she's one of the like hotter female cops that ever damn but she smoked this chick and the chick but the chick won't give up the knife she's still got the knife she won't give it up and so they 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 they, they put the dog on her <laughs> so, oh. the dog, so the dog's fucking her up the and hounds the on the bitch and the lady's fighting the dog now and the cop's like stop hitting my dog stop hitting my dog <laughs> and i'm like dude the dog's there to get hit. Put armor on him, or don't send him in. Like, like yeah. if, he can't, if he can't beat this gut shot lady up, then then like it's finally then it needs to be right. retired. Yeah. So the dog, but tw- the dog's fucking her up, and somebody else comes and shoots her with a taser. And then somebody else comes and kicks the knife out of her hand, and then they all just beat the shit out of her and drag her away. And somebody goes, "Be careful, her guts are hanging out." <laughs> it was Christ. so hardcore. What a and, job! And, and then once it's all over, they're like, "Wait a minute, did we clear that house?" Let's clear that. Let's go in the. They find three more in the house. Like they were hiding in there. They, they, three more like, psychos. Three more knife wielders. <laughs> I think they were like, yeah. I think they were Whew. like, um, like like drug ad- drug addicts who were like, um, like squatting like, like, like squatting in the there. House. Yeah, they found three more lurking in there. They drug their asses out, hooked them up, and that wasn't even the craziest video. Like I just watched police activity like in a montage, right? I watched every one of them back to back from the at the last eight months. I saw three different cops who did that crazy shit. Where you shoot a perpetrator who's holding a fucking hostage. I thought that shit only happened in like lethal weapon movies. Like Clint I Eastwood shit. That's some Clint Eastwood shit. When you're holding the guy and you're like, what are you gonna do, Kathy? And you're just like, fucking make my day and shoot him in the face. Oh. I saw three different cops do that shit. And they hit the shot. All and they them? hit the shot and drop the dude. Were any of them in America? I feel like I see that. All in, of like, them in America. Argentina. All of them in America. Oh, and, nice. and, and and another thing I've noticed about cops in like the last year's videos, they got red dots and compensators on their Glocks now. Like they're, dude, they're not fucking, I, they're getting I, better at being shooters. Let me jump in. I have a related story. So um, the guy that taught my concealed carry course was a sheriff, like a retired sheriff's officer. And he had seen a lot of shit. And uh, this guy and his wife came out of a bar. Anyway, bad guy grabs the wife and does what you're talking about. He's holding the wife. And uh, you know he's got a knife to the wife's neck or something. And he wants their money. He wants to get their money, their phones, whatever. And then he's going to let her go and head the other way. But dude, man, husband's a concealed carry. <laughs> so he pulls out his little... Uh, What's an eight? What's an uh, LCP, Kyle? What is the caliber? Ruben. Thirty-two. Oh, 380. Three, thank you. It is. Yeah. So he pulls out his little three eighty LCP, and he's like, "Let go of the wife, or I'll shoot you." And uh, the wife is like, "No, 
no, don't, <laughs> don't do this. And he's like, I got this, baby. And he shoots his wife in the fucking shoulder. Oh, shit. <laughs> can, I just say, can I just say, the Ruger LCP is such a piece of shit. Like, <laughs> I'd have hit her in the face. <laughs> I have one, too. There's no telling what I'd hit. <laughs> I, I, I'll never forget. Like, like I've told this story before. He's never like, going to hear the end I, of it. I bought that. <laughs> I bought that. You fucking... shot me, you cunt! <laughs> I bought that LCP. Part of the story. I think it's still carry. Apparently, she never, never let him hear the end of it. <laughs> he fucking shot her. I bet that I, he should have. He should have went. You see that? Just imagine what I'm gonna do to you if you let my wife go. <laughs> you know, I, I think in class he, he used this example. He's fun. like, "Honey, there's dirty dishes everywhere." She's like, "Well, you shot me." <laughs> this is her go-to trump card. But yeah, I'd be like. Want another one? He like just twirling oh, yeah. a pistol in there, just twirling no. a pistol, safety off rounds. Police activity. <laughs> Dude, oh, here's another one I saw. This is fucking wild. So two cops pull a uh, pull over a truck. There's two guys in the truck. Um, one cop stays back in the car. The other guys, other cop is at the passenger side interviewing these fellers with a flashlight. It's nighttime, and all of a sudden the the passenger starts getting kind of uncooperative. He's ro- he rolls the window up. He's like, I don't want to answer any more questions. He's like. Well, actually, I need you to step out of the vehicle. And when they, if they tell you to do that, you got to get out of the vehicle. Mm-hmm. He's like, nope. And and the driver says, I'm removing myself from y'all's little argument here. He gets out of the truck, puts his hands up, and goes back to the other officer. He's like, at first, like, whoa, whoa, whoa. But the guy is like, clearly, just like, he sits down, looks at the ground, and he is like, not wanting to be part of anything. Like, he removes himself. Meanwhile, smart guy, passenger of the truck is getting into the driver's seat now. And the cop opens the door, and he's getting into the passenger seat. He's like, don't you do this. Don't you do it. Dude takes off with the cop. They're both together now in the truck. And the cop is screaming, stop! Stop! <laughs> I'll shoot you. I'll shoot you. He goes, shoot me, motherfucker. <laughs> he fucking shifts gears. He goes, shoot me, motherfucker. And the cop goes, stop! Stop! He goes, And then the cop starts saying, stop, stop reaching. <laughs> If if a cop ever tells you out there, anybody out there, a cop ever tells you to stop reaching, you better go flat and be nice because he's getting ready to murder you. <laughs> he's getting ready to kill you in cold blood, oh, and he'll get a paid vacation. Like, he's he's got a body. He's care. reaching for a gun. Look, he's making sure his ass is covered because a psychopath who clearly is, is suicidal is driving him into the night. It's like so, a stop resisting area. Okay. This guy needs to die, and so the cop goes pop 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 pop, kills the guy. The fucking truck rolls to a stop, and he gets out like, what the fuck just happened? And his partner's like, the partner was on the radio at the beginning of it, and he was like, <laughs> he comes over to the dispatcher, whatever, he's just like, yeah, like, you know, 743, my truck heading eastbound down 270, my partner's in there with him. And they're like, come on back, come on back again, number two. Yeah, that's right, my partner's in the car with him. He's taking my partner. He spent on 270. <laughs> Happy that he spent on 270. <laughs> it's just like they can't believe what's happened. Then I saw, I won't, I won't do, and I'll just do one more of these. I okay. saw one for them. <laughs> you love the, these brutal so, videos. Because it's like the highest level of drama to me because people are dying at the ends of these videos. It's true. They try to like serve a warrant on a guy and he's got a fucking machine gun and he starts shooting a machine gun from the inside of a Dallas. Um, or a Houston home, and he kills two cops before he's done, before they gun him down. It was fucking wild. Where was he in the home? Or better yet, was he in a bathtub by chance? No, he's just like in the, like, like, it's dark in there. They, they hadn't made entry yet. They were, they were still at the front door. It kept up with the Uvalde police stuff? Yes. I haven't. Or no, I saw that picture of them, like, they were like hanging out in the school, apparently, and, a, yes. and previously they were like, I, we weren't in the school at all at that time. We, we didn't know what the situation was. Dude, it seems like the police are lying every step of the way. They said that the server has lost all the body cam footage now, and it's just it can never be released. We'll see if that holds true, but oh my god, no one believes that bullshit. Uh, if the body cam footage makes the police look good, oh my, it's out in like forty five minutes. They they release that shit. If it makes the police look bad, it takes weeks, years, or maybe just gets damaged in a file server error, as it does here. Um, What was I going to say? It seems like the whole city is on the side of covering up for these corrupt police. Look at these pussies, like around the bend. There's children in there with a murderer, 
and they're thinking about what to do next. Like just down right the down hall. the hall somewhere on the right or left. I don't know if the hall's open. Like somewhere down there, they can. Oh, don't give them that much credit. They're so they're so scared. They're so no. That wasn't scared. that wasn't credit. I'm saying they can hear shots from a hall. Oh, they can definitely hear the shots. You remember no. high school, right? You could hear someone talking. Trying, like so currently, they're blaming. It seems like they're trying to pin the entire thing on the the commanding officer on the scene, which. I'm a little confused, so but 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 my understanding of it from just like picking up Reddit information is that this guy was the chief of police or something like that, but but now he's on the city council. Yes, yeah, he like, got like, sort of like promoted he made that transition job. like right after this, like like so he got yeah. voted in before this. Oh, but you know it took a little while for him to actually get the what, job. What wonderful timing for him! Yeah, so they. Uh, I think they should have given him the job because I'm really cautious about ignoring the will of the people. Like, even though it's probably pretty clear, but they can't recall him because he has to be in there for like eight months or something like that. And they can't do something else. But what they can do is deny his leave of absence, which I think they're doing. Yeah. So, so he's going to get fired. That's it? Basically, it's the only legal mechanism they have to fire him from his next promotion. Well, that th job. Th we're not talking. Th th Taylor, don't don't misunderstand and think that this is the only thing that's ever going to happen to him. This is just the thing that's happening right now is they're trying to get him kicked off the city council. This is moving too slow. I feel like we have enough evidence that they didn't. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> but but no, but you can't I, just kick him off because it's a it. So, Taylor, I think that you'll respect this position. He was voted in by the people. This is the will of the people. Now, we all agree that he's a fuck shit and that he needs to get fired and put in jail or whatever. But we were careful about the precedent of ignoring the will of the people. He got voted into this job. He should get it on some level. Yeah, yeah that, I, see, this, I hear where you're coming from. It's just the the, the justice the uh, the collides it, with the reason on things. It, like it that. doesn't even matter. Like he's never apparently never shown up for a meeting. You know, like like because he like, doesn't want to face the people. But like even before, right? They may uh, no. He was like, just sworn in like two or three weeks oh. ago. Well, yeah. fair enough then. In any case, it, it seems like they're trying to pin the whole thing on him. Like, like, but but it's like, okay, so he ordered you not to go in and you like, like there, we don't have one guy who's like, well, if they say if they tell me not to, I won't go and save the children. Like, like we had like, one border patrol of, guy. <laughs> I just can't imagine that the chain of command at, at, at Uvalde is so intense that when your commanding officer this old, this good old boy says, nope, don't go in. Everybody sticks their thumb up their ass and lets the kids die. His argument is he didn't know he was in charge. He's like, I didn't know that I was in charge at the time. Great. So, like, the way you tell the story, he's acting in charge and telling people not to go in. I'm not sure if that's true. It might be. Maybe you heard something I didn't. Yeah, it's, that, that was the story I was reading today. Oh, okay. I, I don't know. The, the whole thing's awful. I, they were in there um, really quickly, and then they stayed there at the end of that hallway and didn't do anything. So yeah. I, I, don't, I don't like that they're trying to blame this on one guy and act like, oh, whoa, those poor other cops. They, everybody, every cop there wanted to storm in, but they, they couldn't because orders are orders. Like, they're trying to do that right now, and it's just like, oh, all those cops, all of them, every one of them. They're, the cops Ex aren't going to Except for the ones that tried to go in and were restrained and had their guns taken away. There was yeah, that, that person guy. was off duty, right? The guy's wife called him and says, I'm bleeding, I'm shot, and he tries to go in, and they... Or they uh, tackle him and take his gun away, like the the, the it's like make believe. It's so that's hard. like it's so absurd. despicable. At this point, the police were pretty much in partnership with the murderer. I've Basically, an alliance. Yeah. Like it, like it. It sounds crazy, but like everything the police did in that situation expressly acted to the benefit of the shooter inside. Not one thing they did offered any threat. Like it, if anything, their presence there. Made people think this is under control, you know, kind of step back. If they hadn't been there, if they hadn't been there, like the people in the neighborhood would have solved it. Uh, fat, uh, so it, fucking fast, so I, much I, faster than those cunts. I, I, I don't know, man. It, the, the whole thing is fucked. Um, I'm really shocked that it would happen in a small town like this. Like, I, I, I think of those hmm. guys as the ones who would, I don't know, go, go, go take care of some business, you know. I don't know shit about the shooter, really. Good. That's for the best, I think. You think yeah. it's I don't even tell me. I don't care enough to even know. I, I don't know. Like sometimes they have this well thought out, like, thing, like, like uh, the Unabomber, right? Like when you read mm -hmm. his manifesto, it was like, oh shit, this guy was really fucking smart. He just had some. He took things the, a little. This guy more was not the Unabomber. The Unabomber was no, a mathematical guy. generational talent who got MK Ultra into becoming a maniac. 
This guy, on the other hand, really just seems like a piece of shit who, like, we, it, we're we wasting our time to get inside of his head. Yeah. Agreed. <sighs> I, I've been when he mentally disrespecting I don't police that. across the nation. And, like, do they deserve that? I don't know. Yeah. They yeah. suck. I don't like them. They suck most and of the time. And, like, if something bad were to happen to any of the three of us, they're not going to be the ones to solve it. They're not going to stop anything from happening. It's not in their job title to stop things from happening. What would actually happen is they would, like, come and make problems for you after the fact. Like, they they wouldn't be helpful. Like I, I hear that all the time, that they, it's not their job to break up a fight. It's not their job to protect you from this murder. It's not your job to protect you from this knife-wielding dude. And I'm like, what? The, I kind of thought that was your job. No, their job it is says to, to harm. protect and serve. No, that's that's marketing. That's marketing, dude. Their actual job crazy? is to is to, you know, bring their power to enemies of the state. When like when something happens to a politician or like a really powerful billionaire or something, oh, the police are rallied. Oh, they're there. Oh, they're protecting that mansion. They're protecting that block. Like they know, or on some level, they must know who they serve. They're not going to protect like random people in the middle of a fucking, you know, 2020 BLM riot or their businesses. They're not doing any of that shit. They just fucking stand there and do nothing and get ordered to stand down. And in some of those situations, I get it. I, I've talked about it. I have a friend who is a cop who got called in to like the 2020, you know, riots when all that mm -hmm. shit was going on that like wild summer. And he got called into St. Louis and was like, yeah, they just like would tell us not to do anything. Like there would be bottles and bricks and shit thrown at us, and they would and we would just stand there and just absorb blows. Oh, dude, I time. saw this guy. And on, then um, sometimes it would just go wild, and they start beating the shit out of people. Like, I saw it, it a guy break into a. Uh, it was in Hollywood, I think. I saw a guy break into a, a cop car in the middle of the day. He's like, he just doesn't care that there are people around witnessing him smash the windows of the cop car in, and then he reaches in and steals a laptop, and I expected him to take off oh. running. He like nonchalantly like dusts it off and inspects it like yeah this will do and then like <laughs> strolls away like he did he did not give a fuck. Have I've you seen never videos seen in San Francisco those, of I, of the Best Buys? They just, they started the out running in and just stealing shit and now they're getting carts before they go in. <laughs> They're, they're like taking the time to in bring like Santa Claus and carts and then just steal shit and then nonchalantly walk out because apparently we don't live in a, a real society I in, saw in the guy come where into, you can't just steal shit. I saw the guy come in to a CVS and he's on an electric bike and he's got like a giant sack. I mean like 40 gallon sack and he gets every piece of cosmetics in the CVS, every lipstick and eyeliner and like, you know, those are like really expensive for the amount they weigh. And yeah, yeah, yeah. $18. It gets them all. And it's like, zzz, like, this like zips right out that they can't do anything. I saw, I saw a whole montage of them. Um, Zach, I don't know if you can play the audio from that thing I just sent you, <laughs> yeah, but that's, that's a real 911 call paved. that I feel like is just, I don't even know how to react to it. It's, it's, it's a real quick one though that I found on Reddit. I think, what is it? 30 seconds. Oh, oh, you sent it. I see on, on what's Yeah, I don't know if it's possible to play that here, just the audio maybe. The video is irrelevant. It's just like video to take up the space of video. It's not um, related to the audio, but it's a 911 call from a mother with uh, a, some rowdy kids. I, I, after I heard it, I want to see what, what your take is, whether you think the, the mother making the call is a piece of shit or the 911 operator is a piece of shit because I can't decide. And I'm usually like, real quick right down the middle and i i, I kind of i kind of take a side but i couldn't on this one i i feel that they might both be assholes but we'll see what you think what is your emergency yes um i need a police officer over here at seven court. what's going on um i've got two teenage daughters and i just got home from work they were um physically fighting with each other and one of them kicked a hole in a door and um, they're 12 and almost 14, and the 12 year old is completely out of control. And I, I can't, I physically, if she's as big as I am, I can't control her. Okay, did you want us to come over and shoot her? <laughs> are you there? Excuse me? Uh, that's a joke. Okay, so. Who are you? What is your name? Mike Forbes. <laughs> Mike, Mike Forbes, 
cool, cool guy, of the, guy of the week. <laughs> cool guy of the week. Locked up. I've we haven't done that bit in a year, but <laughs> cool guy of the week. Mike Forbes. A little, little golf clap for that guy. What, you want me to come over and fucking shoot your daughter, you dumb bitch? <laughs> <laughs> Just the, the the intonation of his voice in that is hilarious. You it would be like, funny if if it would be funny if it that weren't funny. a likely outcome of calling them to respond to something like that. Um, like, like go to that police activity channel, and for the most part, the cops are in the right um, when they pull the trigger. Uh, I'll say that for sure. But you'll see so many where it's like there's no de-escalation. It's so easy to take steps backwards and just get out of there. Like, like there's an old lady with a knife that I watched. I, I've, I've referenced it before because I've seen her die so many times. It keeps popping up on Reddit. And she's just so old and so out of it holding this knife. And she's in the house. And he's in the garage. And he just has to take one backward step. And he's in the yard now. But he's just like, put it down, put it down. And it's like, dude, does she look like she's going to negotiate with you right now? She she thinks fucking Kennedy's the president right now. She's right. She's got two knives and she's being wacky with them. Like, you're not going to be able to negotiate. You need to, you need to take a step backwards and we need to find somebody with a fucking net or something. You know, uh -huh. in the movies, that comical like net they throw over crazy people. It's like a um a comical net or maybe like the lasso with the stick, like they use on a dog's neck. You know, Ooh, the that would be control. so effective. Yeah. On a, I was thinking like like I've seen they usually use it as like a prop in a jokey movie, but mm -hmm. it's like uh it's like one of those nets you would use for fishing, but it's person sized, and you like throw it over a crazy. Do you, you see the footage lately of the cowboys who got the runaway cow cows on the highway? Yes. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. They could have handled this woman. I like that so much. Like, like, like when I, whenever I see a, a guy who can operate that fucking lasso, I think that's such a talent. Like, I didn't know that was real life. How do oh, they get yeah. the back legs? How do they, he, he's flinging them at them and like, like, like it's amazing. I couldn't really hit the back cool. legs with a baseball while I was riding a horse and he somehow captures them it, with the lasso. Why aren't the legs on the ground? It's, I don't know how they do it. It's he's incredible. like throwing a big loop that they end up like walking into and then cinching it up and catching a leg. And I, you think they I, walk into it. They're not catching the leg while it's pointed in the back. I don't know. I think they, they're, they're usually catching the cow when it's like in motion. So I think they're just throwing like under it and like leading the target. They did beat that woman to death. Um, I, I, I Presumably. Like, Maybe she, maybe she had asthma, and that's why she died in custody. Oh, yeah, that was your take on that other thing. The, the, I'm uh, often wrong about these things. That gentleman that the cops murdered. I don't remember oh, which one that was, but I believe you. Yeah, I don't know which one it was either. No, it's it's hard yeah. to keep up with them. Police Activity remains to be my favorite <laughs> YouTube channel in existence, where they just show you, show you that, that raw... If they do edit it, they only do so for entertainment purposes. They just make it a better story. And it's just, <laughs> it's just cops shooting it out all day, every day. And so many people like, God, if they tell you to get out, get out. Don't drive towards them. They'll shoot you 12 times. Like, like, I, I, you see so many people get shot on there. Unless it's a woman. I've noticed that if it's a woman and she drives toward the cops, they'll usually let her go and like crash into eight more cars. But if it's ever a dude, they light him up. Mm. Like for car chases specifically? Like there's this scenario that happens a lot where the person's in a car and they won't get out and the cops have their guns out and the person wants to drive away and the cops are standing in front. And if you drive towards them, you are now like, like endangering their lives. Yeah. Them. Mm. You've already started we've already began the attempted murder charges or the assault with a deadly weapon charges. And like they oftentimes will just start shooting the driver over and over in those scenarios. But I've seen that it, it definitely matters, like who the person is. Hmm. I saw a lady in Georgia. She must have rammed like twelve cars. She's got a kid in the back seat, like a toddler or something. And they find they have well, to sandwich they can't her. Shoot the yeah, they can't shoot because they can't just light them up. <laughs> yeah, because because you couldn't see the kid well enough to make sure you hit it anyway. You gotta wait till we get the door open. Yeah, they're, they're, <laughs> you know, I don't want to wing that little fucker. We thought it was a small dog. Oh, go ahead. <laughs> oh. No, they had to like sandwich her with like a car in front and a car in back, and like up, when they got her out, she was like, "What? What I do?" She had rammed twelve cars. They'd been beating <laughs> on the windows, begging her to stop. <laughs> I didn't do nothing. I didn't do nothing. <laughs> like, what are you I taking saw that me? One. She had a baby it's, in the car too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that 
Do you? I, do you... I tried to look up what happened to her. Like I, mm -hmm. I found her name and I searched, searched like sentencing and stuff. Maybe it hasn't happened yet because it only yeah. happened in like June or July. Just as slow. But it was an outrageous example of a woman just running over. She ran one guy three times, three times tried to stop her car by hand. The fuck? What was he thinking? He was like pushing on the hood, trying to stop her car. <laughs> Wouldn't Triple. the car like always win? It's like that man versus car bit from uh, Rick and Morty. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know. That that's the best channel on YouTube. That shit is awesome. There's this huge library that you, that you can go through, uh, and like sometimes it's cops being like actual heroes, saving babies that are dying, like CPR. Not on a often, baby. but sometimes. <laughs> like just as many, I'd say. I'd say it's. I'd say it's more good cops than bad cops. No selection uh, on, bias on the YouTube I, channel. I don't. I don't think so because like this channel just shows you like cop interactions. Is is I, there any like is there any like really good like I want a top ten like you know m you know version of that where I where it's like top ten like uh, hostage situations number ten you know just go what what I would do then is go to the police activity channel and then go uh -huh. by like views like most views yeah most viewed because the That's like smart. like one of the most viewed is like a hero rescue um there's a bunch of them. there's one where like. You know, the, the cop ties a kid's tie who, who's speeding, who's going to, like, something important. Um, but then there's, like, fucking shootouts where the, they, like, knock on the door. Come out of here, James! Get out here! And James opens up with an M16 from inside, like it's modern warfare. <laughs> and kills a cop immediately. Larry's dead. And he's laying there. And then the other cops are like, what the fuck? And they're all shooting just randomly, like an action movie, into the building. And you can hear the guy in there. Come on! Brrr! And it's like, what have we stumbled into here? Like, like, there's tons of them like that with machine gun wielding bad men. And it's like, how did I not hear about the massacre at, <laughs> at, at on Sixth Street that I'm watching right now? How am I only now <laughs> learning that this happened? It's like some action movie shit. Like, one out of ten times, I saw a crazy crackhead go after a female cop with a knife. Like the cop knocks on the door, ma'am, could you come outside? She comes outside with the knife already back and stabbing at her. And she shoots that lady and the lady's guts are out on the ground while she's crawling, still trying to stab while a, a canine unit is dragging her across the ground. And the cop goes, careful there. Don't step in the intestines. <laughs> <Or something. laughs> it was, it's so hardcore. Um, and it's this seen... cute female cop. And she, when she, she gets stabbed a little, it's not bad. It's in the arm, but she screeches over that radio. Ah! Code. Mm. Whatever whatever code is for like cute girl get, just got stabbed, <laughs> need some white knights. It's like, like a code <laughs> seventy seven, and every cop within fifty miles came. Like they they were there so fast. It was I'd never seen that kind of response time. The president could be down, and they wouldn't have gotten there that fast. They were patching <laughs> her up and killing that other lady like as fast yeah. as they could. I want to tell you about the police activity video I saw because yes, it's like it's a little confusing about about exactly what's happening. But there's a cop in a field. And they've got a woman on the ground. She's in trouble. Um, she's under arrest, kind of. And there's two EMS guys, EMTs or whatever you call them. They're there as well. And they've got hands on the woman, kind of helping the cop because he's getting, he's losing control of the situation. He's got his gun out. And there's a, a, a trailer, like a house trailer, like Wings of Redemption style domicile right back behind them. And out of nowhere, while the cop is like talking to the lady who's on the ground, he starts shooting. Bang, 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 bang at the trailer. Get, get me your hands, show me your hands, come out, come out. He's screaming orders, and the EMTs are, are, are trying to get low because he's shooting right over them. The lady is freaked out, and he's crazed. He's shooting at people we can't see. What had happened was someone back at the trailer moved or something. He lost his shit and starts unloading back there. So a few seconds go by of him like being crazy in the fucking field and like wildly pointing the gun everywhere one-handed, and he starts going, <laughs> and he has a full-on meltdown. He has a he starts crying and wailing. He starts <laughs> and he That's still fun. got the gun. He's like, <laughs> and the EMT is like terrified. He's like, <laughs> the EMT is give me your gun. Give me the gun. And he's like pulling the gun out of the cop's hand, and the cop won't let it go. Give me the gun. Give me the gun. And he takes the cop's gun away, and the cop continues to wail. And <laughs> he sounds like the fucking principal that was nailing Forrest Gump's mom. 
<laughs> what a fantastic <laughs> reference. <laughs> he's lost. As it, he's but, sitting but, on the porch just distra- listening. But, like that, but the loves stress. Education. Like having a full-on weird, uh, weird panic attack. <laughs> And uh, and finally, he's like, "I'm good now. Can I, give me my gun. Give me my gun." Because he's embarrassed because they've taken his gun. And like new cops show up, and everybody is so confused about this guy having a goddamn meltdown. And the EMT's like, "It's okay, man. It uh, it's a real stressful situation out here. It's a, don't even worry about it." There's no one else like, reacted like that. Don't even worry I about would. it. I'm gonna hold on to this though. Like, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I, when they gave him the gun back, I was I, first of all, I'd never seen a cop give up his gun. That's got to be like day one training. Did, did he look like a noob cop? Like a, like a it's young from man? his point of view. You know, oh, he's got okay. the body you cam on. Tell. But but he had a full on goddamn meltdown over nothing. He he started shooting at like mystery people who were just watching an arrest happen. You know what I mean? It's like somebody's getting arrested and people are like, oh, what's going on over there? So he's, he's blasted at them and then had a panic attack where they had to disarm him. And there's no, I bet he's still a cop. Bet we should probably have higher standards for these people. Well, then that's juxtaposed with that that hero cop in Tennessee that looks like fucking Schwarzenegger or that square-headed white dude who, like, stormed through the elementary school and killed that uh, that shooter with an you AR. Do, Everyone's get, get talking guys about that guy, that guy and, and he deserves the praise that he, he got there, right? He was yeah. fearless. But I can't get over the fact that he passed, like, five or six other cops on the way to the active shooter. The other cops were like, he's down there, he's down there. What's slowing you down? How long right. have you been here? What are you, you Valde cops? Like, I you, didn't understand. Like, were there like regular cops who were going in and like holding positions? And then, like, the was he like an elite cop or was that just a regular cop who had a better gun than everybody else? And better gun, he had a better attitude. Like, it, yeah. it, well, but he, he had the better gun. Like, well, yeah, but he found the guy looking out the window and shot him in the back. I, I could have used a fucking knife it in that situation you don't want to miss i mean i'm exaggerating but yeah like shotgun would have been fine ar-15 would have been fine a pistol would have been fine it just took a guy with a, for a long gun for my school shooting defense <laughs> me mm-hmm. too me too but but i, I really what distinguished Cross him from the other police out of style that would distinguish him from the other policemen was that he approached the shooter everyone yeah, else was waiting was, around uh, the corner I'll yeah, tell you, he was aggressive so, uh, and he was pushing it. I did a lot of uh, charity work with a charity called the Cannonball Memorial Run, and it's uh, uh, put together by some cops out of San Bernardino County in California. And we would do a road trip across the country, and we'd stop at precincts that had lost officers in the line of duty in the last year, mm-hmm. take the patches from their uniforms to D.C. And it was an a amazing trip because you hear these crazy stories. But the, the craziest part is when you'd stop at some of these you know, very small towns – they might only have four or five cops that work there and like they don't have ammunition to practice. And so there are a lot of parts of our country that are not remotely adequately protected by police. Mm -hmm. And particularly when you consider the nature of Americans that live in these areas, Uh, the, the civilians are considerably better armed than the officers are, and in many cases, far better trained and mm-hmm. experienced. And so these are these are young guys with low qualification jobs at times. And so, you know, I can imagine it might have taken somebody that came from far a little further away that had that wasn't wildly overwhelmed by a circumstance like that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, see, but that's like a nice, measured, nuanced point, which is not what I'm looking for. Right, right. (laughs) (laughs) That makes a ton of sense. And uh, no, we need to put a hundred people in a room. Only one of them is going to be a cop. The rest have to be dealt with. Yeah, I I want. Yeah, I want Judge Dredd, uh, like like police officers, who just dispense justice on the streets. Although that is kind of what they did, you know, when they when they they just walked in there and executed that person. And cop number two shows up and is like. Stop! He goes bang, bang, bang with the pistol, like shoots the person three more times, and then he goes, "Stop moving!" <laughs> Dude, I believe that the body was moving as a result of the being chicken. shot, and so in the moment he was probably like, "Stop moving exactly where I fucking just shot you!" Yeah, yeah. Like, stop bouncing up and down all dead, right like. by that bullet hole. Yeah, yeah. Taylor and I were talking about it. It was like the scene in RoboCop where the yeah. fucking. <laughs> A fucking giant like mech suit like guns the guy down with double cannons in the boardroom <laughs> like like the guy's just fucking trembling with fucking bullet shots. 
Yeah, that was that was terrible. That guy's a hero cop. He should get a raise and a newer, nicer gun. That's the way we should reward cops. The ones who use their guns the best, they get That's better just guns. Just like Call of Duty, like like he's gonna earn a like kill streak. Game. If yep. he kills three more school shooters, he'll get like a a, a fucking predator missile. Well, let's not he's... set it ridiculous. You kill one school shooter, you get a crazy big raise. Boom! Now this problem of, of cops not running in, not an issue. When they see Officer Fucking Hero driving around in his new Lambo. Because now mm. he's making three hundred grand a year because he killed a school shooter. That would be fun if you kill a school shooter, you get like one hundred and fifty thousand bonus. They'll all be rushing to the shooter. Yeah, oh, yeah. Or at least I'd like a having, supermarket sweep. You know, the guy I'd that one was a like, teacher, but what's he worth? I'd be having like, my like, kids bully <laughs> people all day, every day. Like, like, no, you got to push him, son. You got to push him. You let him know. Money. There's no other way, son. You let him know. <laughs> <laughs> if you put that on any know, it local doesn't get ballot, better. you said yeah, half a percent of. Sales tax and it's the bounty for school shooters. Nobody votes that down. That that well, passes. It's a genius <laughs> idea. I, it it's can't a good idea. It. They would do that in Texas because that, that's their <laughs> answer for so many things. Now nah, Texas is an embarrassing state. Them. They're not even up with Missouri. Now when Dude, they kill a high problem. value target in the military, isn't it like a thing that everybody in the unit shoots them afterward? Like if they like when they got Bin Laden, didn't everybody put a bullet in him that was there? Like I don't think so. <laughs> I choose to believe it's true. I don't know. Uh, I mean, as we all know, said. Bin Laden is living happily in Argentina. But I heard that I heard the guy that shot Bin Laden on a podcast, and he and he he did, he must have. If they did that, he skipped over that. But he told like the story, like beat for beat, about how he killed Osama Bin Laden. So that was pretty neat. Um, I would be. I wouldn't want to be the publicly that guy. That seems like a dangerous thing. But you know, they yeah. scooped him up and buried him at sea. Right. Right. But yeah. I didn't know if that was a school shooter thing too. Like if I was, a, you know, second or third into the room, I'd probably make sure, you know. Yeah. Just to I think it's a school, double check. I think it's I think Triple it's a police tap. shooting thing. Um I I it seems like sometimes everybody will just light the guy up and so it's almost like you have Fire to charge range style. You have to charge like 13 officers if this was a bad shoot. And it's like are you going to fire two whole police departments and four um sheriff's mm -hmm. deputies? And you're going to go after that federal guy or who was here and the state guy who just happened to like, there's so much law enforcement at like anything. If there's a call and there's a thing to do, they all just show up. It's like that, that meme about them eating donuts is kind of bullshit. But if there's a call, it just seems like they just keep coming. It's like flies to shit and there'll be eight cops for nothing. Hey, what's yeah. going on? <laughs> Like y'all couldn't y'all have radios. Y'all couldn't have squared this yeah. out like over the over the you wire. You can't beat the cops. Infinite respawns. <laughs> <laughs> like Vanguard deploy, yeah. Vanguard yeah. deploy. <laughs> so yeah. they just keep going. Nothing you can nothing you can do. They just keep showing up. I saw that thing the other day where the the kids were trying to run into their own house and the ATF officer mm. uh like like saw him going in or whatever and was like, "Yeah, have your children come back outside. I want a word with them." She's Jesus. like, "Why?" He's like, "It's a traffic violation. A traffic violation. Yes, jaywalking in this neighborhood. Well, they look like they might have weapons. I need to talk to your children. I'm ATF." And ATF. The time, he should be murdering innocent people at a compound. Aren't should you be shooting a dog somewhere? And so <laughs> there's like the ends up being like said. five. He should be manufacturing um, claims of child abuse to firebomb a, a compound. That's what he should be doing. Is has the ATF ever done something like nice, like good? I have nothing bad to say about them. <laughs> I take it you just watched the annual Link, Waco documentary trouble. series, Taylor. No, no, I haven't no. seen it yet. But no, is I, it good? It's the same as all of them. The same as all. Do you think yeah, Waco was actually like those people were doing nothing wrong? They were cool. I think that like uh, they were weirdos, but there was no excuse to like murder all of them. Said, I watch a lot of this. I watched so much police uh, video stuff that I recognized a neighborhood. I was like, <laughs> "Wait, where are they?" It's Griffin, Georgia. I know where they are. I'm like, oh, they're next to the hot dog place. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get a hot dog after this. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, like I watch a ton of that shit. I found there's been a couple of them that are like places I know because Atlanta's, I guess it is a little, a little ghetto, as that that one girl said before they drug her away in handcuffs. She was just dogging Atlanta the whole video while she, and meanwhile she's getting kicked out of a Holiday Inn for not paying her her shit. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Like yeah, Atlanta's so ghetto. When she started cursing though, that was the last straw. I love when the last straw comes and they go quote unquote hands on. Oh. When you fast forward through one of those and you can see the, you know, with the most viewed section. Yeah. I use, I go to about 20 seconds before the big spike and it's always right before the cop has had enough. Sometimes it's good to see how we got here, 
like let the person annoy you mm -hmm. as much as the cop is annoyed so you don't mind when he sprays her mm -hmm. but uh but yeah i watch a lot of those they're th it's great drama the and some of these people are so stupid dude it will be a situation where it's hey man warning don't do that again. Can I see your license and drive? All right, get out of here. That's what we were going to do. But instead, multiple felonies. There was one where a white lady um, has hit her husband with her vehicle, and he has pressed uh, pressed charges against his they're, wife. Yeah, they're divor okay. they're divorcing, and and, and yeah, she has not, like not a that's she, not a healthy relationship. No, no. <laughs> and she's she has she has bumped his person with her car enough that he has filed charges. I don't. He's not crippled or anything but he's hurt and he's filed charges mm -hmm. cops cops follow her into her driveway she goes does not stop into her garage and the cop follows her into the garage she pulls the garage door down she's got kids in the back seat and she she's uh she's being real nasty right away excuse you excuse you do not touch me I'll not touch that. me. I was waiting for and that. She's like wedging her left foot all crazy up against her open door so she can't be pulled out. And finally, they just, he gets one cuff on Can her. Can you help me understand that she was shutting the garage door? How did the policeman get in? Did oh, he, he came on in. He came on. So like, his, like, like one of them came in before it, it could, no, one came in oh. before it could slide. Once he's in talking to her, she hits the button, closing him in. His partner comes in through a side door that's there, that's like a regular house door, and he gets he gains access to the garage as well. And they drag her ass out of that vehicle. She is going crazy, screaming and being nasty, and she's like baring her teeth like an animal in this real scary way. Um, she's got like a boy haircut, like like shorter than mine, shorter than any of ours. And uh, mm. at one point, but, but she's handcuffed behind her back, and the officer has his hand like on her shoulder blade, like 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 real high. He's like, just get back in the car. Get in the car. Get, in the car. get your hands off, off of me. She, snapped. she tries to bite him. And he is so quick. I was impressed. Mm. Like, 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 he was like, Whoo! and she, her, you could hear it. Snap. When she bit, he was like, oh, that's a t what are you doing? Are you trying to bite me now? She's just losing her shit, foaming at the mouth. They get to the end and they read the charges. She's like, the initial charges that brought officers there were dropped. However, <laughs> <laughs> and it's like DUI, driving with an open container, three account, th three, uh, three assault yeah. and batteries, attempted biting, um, um, threatening a public official, um, assault, simple assault, um, endangering the welfare of a child, putting two counts, like, like hmm. one after another. Uh, and, and it's just, and, and then I'm like, damn, that was rough. And then the screen fades. Then further charges were fun. Like, Damn, <laughs> they rolled eight charges up on her, and all she had to do was go, "Oh, I thought the lawyer had this squashed. Dang it! All right, take me in. Let's let's see if we can be quick about this. I want to get home to these kids. Hey, could we get? Could you not handcuff me in front of my children? Maybe that's all it would have taken. But instead, she's mm. getting getting drug out, screaming, fucking bloody murder. And she was in a fairly nice neighborhood, so it was fun to get her walk, like perp walked out in front of her neighbors and shit. Damn, but sounds I like, like a real loon. I saw a guy uh, earlier. Some of the people are just crazed, and you can tell like there was no saving them. Like you were gonna die tonight, one way or another. You were just crazy. This one guy, damn. This one guy just went crazy and started running from the cops and tried to run across the interstate and got hit by a car. And he's just a blurry. They they blurred out his body, but the blur was so big you could tell that he took up a lot of lot more space than a normal person would take up. He just got splattered. And I don't know how many people I've seen them um, like fail to tase. Tasers don't fucking work unless we're maybe six feet away, it seems like. Or they don't know how to use them. Yeah, that's crazy. I, I feel like you're watching less censored stuff. I always see tasers work. Like If they're trying to show like a taser working, you know what I mean? But but if you just watch wild police videos where, right. where they get those things if the guy's sitting right in front of you it, it shoots two lasers and the further away from the target the lasers you can see how far away they get have you seen so that there's a cop and there's a guy running the guy running's black and he might be on something and he's sprinting like towards a hill the cop hits him with the taser and he goes straight like this and starts like wiggling like a fish as he flies through the air have you seen this video yeah yeah I, you see that and People like me get to thinking that's what tasers do. If they 
<laughs> if both barbs penetrate your skin, that is what they do. Um, but if one of them goes in, it just hurts a little. And uh, mm. if, if if they both have to penetrate your skin and get into you to direct that current into you, or they just kind of annoy you, and they really escalate things, right? Because mm. if you shoot a taser at me and it fails, oh my god, I better make, make use of this this brief interim before someone else gets a taser out or he reloads or some shit. Now it's go time. People jump in cars, try to flee, and start fighting and shit. Uh, what I don't understand is how many people can't just follow simple instructions. I've seen so many videos where cops are assholes and they're the bad guys planting evidence and basically murdering people. Mm -hmm. But then I see a lot of videos where, dude, nobody's bullying you. Nobody's after you. You ran three red lights, hit a car and kept going. I just need your information, sir. We're hmm. not even trying to make it fleeing the scene. I just need your insurance for them. That wouldn't work. You could that wouldn't work for this lady. She Might be a lie fight. anyway, but yeah. It was mm. the truth. It was all there was. Like, 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 like mm. hey, they they had to fight to the death. Had to fight to the death. Now we're getting drug across concrete. You mm. I, I would hate to get have to get face down on the concrete. I don't think I've ever had no, nah, I've never had to do that. I don't think I've ever gotten to get, get you down for the cops at all. I always just sort of surrendered. <laughs> but smart. Yeah. Yeah. But um if they I tell have. me to, I will. Mm. You have? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm trying to think. Like uh, on concrete, had your face mushed, like in a jujitsu well, thing? No, 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 no. They they just like ask you to lay down before they put the cuffs on. They didn't force me to lay down. Does that make oh, sense? Oh, I thought you, I was thinking you were talking about fighting on concrete. Mm. My my mistake. That'd be a terrible place to fight. I thought he was talking about the position, but yeah. So anyway, I was talking about like whenever I've been arrested or taken into custody or whatever. That I think I think when I got arrested when I was like 20 or whatever, 21. Um, they handcuffed me behind my back and threw me in a police car. But um, whenever I got like locked up at the post office with my with my drugs, I don't think they handcuffed me. I, I think they were just, yeah, not for not initially, not for a while. I was just wasn't he just the... hiding in the corner? You said that like yeah. he wanted you to sign, and then he was like, "Gotcha." Yeah, um, <clears throat> he was kind of in the back of the post office chilling, um, and uh, yeah, so he 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 was able to watch me like take the package and walk out the door. And so he was behind me. But as soon as I got outside, there was like a bunch in front of me. Like, like there was maybe three or four or five. But then I had a whole panic attack. So I blacked out for a little bit of that. And uh, when I came through, we were just kind of chilling and with a detective's car because it was like three fucking branches of goddamn law enforcement represented. Had to get that half ounce off the street. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> we're about to let and, you escape. Yeah. And, and like, that was one of those times where, where the guy was like, you want a cigarette? And I was like, you're goddamn right I do. And, I, I was, <laughs> and we sat, and, and he, was, he, was, he was one of those people who smokes in their cars. So we chilled in his expedition and puffed away in there while I asked probing questions about just how bad this was all going to be. <laughs> <laughs> I, was like, I was like, you know, not me, but some other guy who had done some stuff and had, and y'all found a bag of things that had bad stuff in them. Not me, but him. What would y'all do to him? <laughs> <laughs> and, and and he was like, oh, it probably won't be no big deal at all. <laughs> and he meant it. You're not some online gunslinger. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I know this guy. Like 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 we we knew each other well enough that we would recognize each other when we you know, at the gas station or whatever. I know his name and he knew mine. Uh, this uh this detective. Um, Real nice guy. Felt bad about the whole thing. I think he felt bad about it, but he didn't feel bad enough to give me like an illegal warning. So, you know, we, we don't get to be friends anymore. Yeah. See, that's what I'd have done for him. If I, I if, if they were setting up a whole sting about for Taylor, I'd be like, ah, oh, Taylor, you should probably never go to the post office again. Like, yeah. ever. <laughs> they know about the barrels of ayahuasca. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I watched one today. Undercover cops sitting surveilling a residence about an unrelated matter. matter. Along comes a carjacker, white dude with a gun, rolls up. Yeah. As soon as he pulls the door handle, the cop lights him up and kills him right there. His girlfriend, no, starts running up. Did you kill my baby daddy? Did you kill my baby daddy? And for a minute, the kid on the ground is still alive. He's like, what's your name? He goes, Clark. And later on, the girl goes, did you kill Clark? 
And I'm thinking, like, totally. He totally killed Clark. <laughs> Clark's <laughs> dead. Clark was But dead. Clark shouldn't have run up with a gun pointing it at people. Dude, it was... All right. It, it, it was funny. I was, it, here's what happened. Clark's laying on the ground dying. <laughs> and he's wearing... This is funny. Female. Keep going. Hilarious. It's, it's, it's a great setup really to your joke. You're, you're losing little bits of your soul, man. <laughs> he's laying there <laughs> These dying. These videos. He's white. You feel better now? <laughs> <laughs> His he name's Clark. It. I don't care. I'm yeah. calling him. Hey, where'd all, the, where'd all the cameras go? Where, where <laughs> he's laying there bleeding out, and uh, he's got the guns laying next to him. The cops standing over. He, he goes, "What?" He's on his radio. A guy just tried to rob me. You know, because some code. Get to me now. And the kid goes, "I didn't try to rob you." <laughs> and he's a ski mask, laying on the ground with a gun. And I just thought, man, you just in, just instinctively lie. Like, like, it's, it's clear did you see that you did. Where... ski mask? There's a cop. He's pulling some guy out. He has a black hoodie on. And the guy just be like, I have to get one more thing from my car. I have to get one more. And the cop is clearly like, yeah. don't go back to your car. Don't, don't, don't. And he's acting like, like bro, you're really making a big deal out of this. Like in applying this, like, don't touch me. Leave me alone. Stop overreacting to everything. I wonder if cops ever fall for that. Like the, yeah. there must be a little social pressure for them to be like, wasn't yeah. that the... Wasn't that the same guy who ran away and got hit by a car? Uh, this guy, his buddy ran away. He was in a gray sweat like hoodie and sweatpants, and he had mm-hmm. dreadlocks, and he had a gun. His buddy ah. starts running, and the other cop chases him shortly. They managed to find him a few blocks away, and uh, they shot him, and uh, he he's there dying. They're trying to save him after they shot him. He, I thought he was going to be okay because he yells out, You hit me! Which... Everyone correctly interpreted it as the chase is done. I'm no longer resisting. You hit me. Now I'm looking for friends. And 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 so the cops replied like you'd hope they would. You know, they're like, all right, who's got a, a chest seal? It sounded like it was a kind of bandage, maybe. And um, they're He's trying to help plastic. this guy. His baby mama comes around and starts screaming and freaking Isn't that out. Helpful? Not helpful. I thought the guy was going to be okay because he sounded okay moments yeah. after the shot. But he turned. I read the description, and he died at the hospital. They always say that when they die right there on the ground, though, because I think they need the doc at the hospital to declare them dead. Yeah. So <clears throat> it'll be like remember on Succession when we as the viewer know that the that that one character has been dead for a very long time, mm-hmm. but they they're still doing chest compressions. You know, like, like people are getting tired of it at this point. I think that happens every a lot because whenever. With you. I, I've watched the entire police activity catalog. I mean, every single one of them. I started, just I went to the it. beginning of the uploads years ago and just let it roll. Just let it roll. Mm-hmm. Beautiful That's stuff. so much. Dude, uh, there's so a, much. Hundreds and, of thousands of videos. The bad policemen get a lot of press when they do bad stuff. Yeah. But the ones on, is it police activity? It's a both there, them. which I love. Okay. I've only been exposed to good cops on that so far i've seen a couple of bad shoots that that were just uh, there there was that one where the guy's chasing the dude there's some domestic thing and he's running with his gun out and he's running around the corner and the dude just spooks him like the guy just like rounds a fucking corner and the guy that he's chasing is right there and he just goes pop boom and just shoots him in the chest like one round Mm -hmm. you can tell the cop is like really upset about this he's just like not like did not mean to do it Mm -hmm. and the guy ended up dying uh the guy i can recall a bad shoot there was a guy in the woods with an axe or it might have been a hatchet you know, but yeah. you get it. And uh, I think he was reported as threatening people with this axe hatchet thing. Mm-hmm. And the cop goes up to him and shoots him like almost right away from like 30 feet. And it's yeah, like, you kind of jumped the gun there. There really wasn't a lot of de-escalation. You, you showed us that clip and the intro to it. I'm like, oh, guy in the woods with an axe. Like, I'm probably going to come down <laughs> on the cop side here. And then I watched it and it's like, no, the dude's like eight trees away eight layers of trees away he's like what are you doing well dying now like and then <laughs> kills him in the woods hi i was getting some firewood pop, 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 pop. like no, he's the, probably getting firewood right no no because the cop <laughs> went there he was up to no good will, wielder had been reported as threatening people he was in the so, water with yeah. a paddle we don't know what he was up to so i assume that's true <laughs> <laughs> but uh wait for one threat or wait for the guy to start walking towards you all you yeah. need is a guy. If a guy with an axe starts walking towards you, who's coming down on the side of the axe guy? Who? Tell him to stop once, maybe. Just, you know, like yeah. have him walk through one of your commands or let him get within 20 feet or so. Put the axe down, sir. Yeah. You know what? 
one of the slickest things I saw a cop do recently. He's uh, comes into a parked vehicle and they look homeless in there and like like lots of sketchy shits going on. Oh, they don't have exactly the right paperwork and and who, oh, I don't know, I don't know nothing about no warrants and it's it's getting weird. And the partner is like putting these mini stop sticks behind all the tires, <laughs> like without them noticing. These little they look like rat traps, like this little triangle thing. Uh -huh. And if they collapse it, it's gonna pop their tire. And it's those hollow spikes that immediately bleed them out. And sure enough, they take off forty five seconds later. You could hear it. As the car is leaving, it was great. That's pretty legit. Now, we both saw the one, I think the three, everyone but Taylor saw that one at the strip mall, maybe? Yeah, I haven't yes. seen that. Yeah, the yes. Texas shooting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so a police We need Brandon's expertise on this one. Yeah, it starts off with a police officer actually talking to a mother and her two children, being super friendly with them and, and talking about buckling up in the car and stuff. And you, and in the distance, you hear semi-automatic gunfire, like loud. And he immediately goes into action, getting his gun and calling, calling it in. And the family gets the fuck out of there. And then he, it sounded closer to him clearly than it was because he goes on a very long jog. He does made, not jump rope this dude. He had no cardio. And In a hundred feet, he was sucking wind. And I, I hate to be well, that Monday morning quarterback because this guy, like, this guy immediately grabs his patrol rifle, runs toward the sound of gunfire. Yeah. Like, he's doing the thing you want cops to do. Absolutely. So, like, you know what? I'm giving like 95% kudos to this dude, executed really well. I agree. The 5%, I was thinking the same thing. I'm like, we just hear this dude huffing and puffing into his body cam. Like, I, I, didn't, I don't care that he's out of shape. I bet he's not even that out of shape. I think in that moment on a hot day, wearing all that gear, carrying yeah. a rifle in your boots, and then you yep. start running at what's about an eighth of a mile. Man, to wear pants. I, I'm not going to be pants. that far ahead of that guy, you know. Uh, but if he hopped in his car, he could have been there real quick. But it it clearly sounded close. Like he needed to get in the action right now. And you don't yeah. want to drive up on somebody who's out, who's standing with a gun because they're going to. You know him. what would be what would contribute to cops being in better shape is if they all had to kind of wear uh, postal carrier style shorts. Right? Oh, <laughs> that no, no, no. I want them up high for mobility. <laughs> the, 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 honestly the mobility is fine but the real thing is like a shaming tactic where it's like oh i'm sorry officer but fuck you're 200 pounds overweight hey, you have to cellulite. adopt by the yeah, <laughs> i like Captain kyle's cellulite. idea i need yeah. to see that camel toe rook yeah. <laughs> Tell me that down, moose rabbit. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, why are we taking this so seriously? It's the local police department. Yeah. Uh, local this ain't Mayberry, son. I've seen some shit. Yeah. <laughs> it's a We're camel toe on the it. fit guys and a moose knuckle on the mm. Chris Christie's of the world. Oh, oh man. Chris he Christie has him. the worst body type. That's Maybe. why I only watch police activity because it's real. You watch those people <laughs> get shot to death. I'm telling you. 10, 10 people a day they're killing over there on policeactivity.com. I noticed today they're <laughs> not monetized. <laughs> Police Activity uh, uh, channel. The YouTube, YouTube channel. Yeah. yeah, they're not monetized. Can we get them as a sponsor? You're you're giving them so much publicity. <laughs> I mean, people need to know. It's the best channel on YouTube. They're It's crazy drama. Uh, this is the but, best channel on YouTube? Well, no, a second yeah. best channel on YouTube. <laughs> you know? It, it, look, look I, I watched that black man. He, he's sitting there, and they're like, sir... We heard you have a knife, and he like reaches and pulls out the biggest fucking almost like a movie prop of a knife out. And he's just like, please, sir, please, sir, please, sir. And I start fast forwarding because the video is so goddamn long, and I'm trying to get to the good part. And I fast forward five minutes of him saying, please, sir, and holding that knife until they start <laughs> shooting him with one of those less lethal 12 gauge shotguns. And that really riles him up. You ever throw a rock at a hornet nest and then run away? No. It's kind of like that. <laughs> well, they just shot him to death right there. And then Wait, it's time to, to death? watch another one. Yeah. Oh, well, they shot him and he fell into a pool of blood, but then he got back up. And one of the cops awkwardly gives him like three more real quick when he's looking the wrong way. It was, it, it's, it's pretty wild. Um, the dog, the canine videos are by far my favorite because I love a good boy, you know? Hmm. And, and those dogs are, they are trained that getting to bite the thing is the best thing ever. It's what we fucking train for, you know? So when they Love. actually get to bite a person, it's that dog's best day. You're seeing the I, happiest boy you've ever seen. And I like I, that. I, my problem with police dogs is the rules of engagement. Like yeah. they're allowed to Don't fuck you hit my dog. You boy. Up, right, right. This guy, he's biting you, he's ripping your leg. You're already 77 stitches deep into your injuries. And yeah. you if you so much as try to push his mouth off your calf, 
It's like resisting arrest. Now you got more dog. Yeah, right. You know, leave my dog alone. That dog's a He's cop. He's biting the dog. <laughs> I've, seen, I've seen, I've seen at least twice where they bite the dog back because the dog's latched on to him and won't let go. So they're like, "Motherfucker, how do you?" Like? And they'll like bite an ear, and the dog will scream sometimes and let go because dogs don't want to get bit. <laughs> <laughs> and they never, he's never been bit before. You, you can know? dish it out, but you can't take it, huh, canine? It's true. Um, I fought one of those police canines in a fucking bite suit once and, uh -huh. and whooped its ass. Although I was in a bite suit, which isn't fair. Yeah, yeah. That's not fair to the dog. No, not at all. <laughs> I like, I didn't mean to, but I kind of double kangaroo. Double slammed him over my back. I, I thought he'd land on his feet, but he landed like flat on his back and yelped and ran away. And I was like, let's not put that in the video. <laughs> <laughs> you monster. <laughs> I felt terrible. You got to understand. It was like a military canine, like an 80 pound German Shepherd or something. Ah! And he would fly through the air and latch, up, latch onto me. And I would spin, like lean back and do spins. He'd be stretched out by just his teeth, locked eyes with me. <laughs> and that guy's screaming, like, pocken, pocken, like whatever German for bite is. And, and so. A little slam was par for the course in what we were, what he was dishing out. He bit the you shit know, he, out of me. He was being over. trained as much as you were that day. That my, my, my forearms were just black and blue all the way up and down them. Cause oh, I, they, as a joke, they gave me the little bite sleeve, the training bite sleeve they use for like younger dogs. And then they sick the big dog on me. So my arms getting all bit up and I'm like, I guess men just take the pain, huh? <laughs> this is what normal dog trainers feel all day <laughs> and then later on they put me in the real bite suit i'm like this is eight times thicker than what i was wearing earlier and they're like yeah, yeah. this is for the adult dogs and I'm like, here here's your falconry mitten uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the dog whipped my ass for an hour damn yeah, that's, i love uh, it when they stick the dogs on them it's great yeah i wouldn't i mean i imagine that you go from feeling a little badass fleeing from the cops to absolute abject terror immediately when you see a dog chasing you because it's they they look so angry none of right them from, look like they're having fun they're right like, from cops they're must be the i know exactly how thing. fast they can run too that's what i don't like that feeling like oh man there's no chance of me escaping this dog oh yeah no. so much faster than you <laughs> it's like I, can't long, maybe I, got a shot. I can't outrun most men <laughs> it's a ron white joke to right dog. yeah ron white said i don't know how many of them it would have took to whoop my ass but I knew how many they was going to use. <laughs> as many as it took to whoop your ass. And that's how fast a dog can run. As fast as it takes to catch you. Yeah. yeah. You're not getting and away. It's, it's not even vaguely tired by the time it catches you. It's just had enough time to get rile, to rile itself up. No. And yeah. like getting I game noticed time, that in game the other seven day. mode. The cop kind of was like, gave it a running head start. He made sure, he didn't just like, all right, grab him now. He was like, all right, we'll let you go back here on the 40 yard line. You'll be up to about 25 miles per hour, but yep, get him. God, that dog's moving fast so when it hits Obviously, the I'm not. I don't think any of us are really built for speed, but people are. Fair. Can't people outrun dogs? No. Not in short bursts. Yeah, not short bursts. In distance, distance they can, but not in short bursts. Not police no. dogs. People can't <clears throat> outrun a police dog. Like a German Shepherd. Even like fast if you were to people? be like, no, not even. Not fast in short. People. Yeah. Think about no. like how quick, like a. Like a border collie is compared to like Michael Phelps. Not Michael Phelps. Well, Michael Phelps way faster oh. than Michael Phelps <laughs> running around. <laughs> <laughs> but Usain Bolt, like Usain Bolt, would get humiliated by a border collie who had even a conception of what it was meant to do in a race. Like yeah. uh, the border yeah, collie could no like what. eat treats Sucks. for the first thirty yeah. seconds and win. Like you, yeah. you don't want to. You don't want to tango with dogs. Okay, they so I have some numbers. Like Twenty miles, but. An average track athlete averages, I guess, 15 miles an hour over the 100 meters. Starts from zero, so I imagine the top end's faster. Usain Bolt averages 27 miles an hour. Woo! That's his top speed. Like a and a German Shepherd goes 30. So even Usain Bolt gets caught by the German Shepherd, but not by oh, a yeah. lot. And Usain yeah. Bolt, he's, that, that He's big, black, so that, that German that Shepherd will be gone. Calf. <laughs> Yeah, that, like that. He's wearing the. He's not wearing a protective suit. His bare calf is out, and he's losing that calf muscle when that when that he's dog. He's gonna miss up. it. Yeah, no, to grow he's back gonna, though. He's, yeah, <laughs> but it'll grow back. And then we'll know, by the, by the cow eat system. it again. Yeah, then you let, <laughs> and then he'll eat it the again. We're right back to the first again. ten minutes I of the show. I swear that will work. You can grow steak. Why couldn't That's you just brilliant. have like 
like, can I get rid of the, the cow's brain? Because I, I feel awful about the cow having to exist like that. Could I just have the body of a cow with no brain and it keeps growing new steaks? And, and mm -hmm. I mean, it's like a play. It's like the Play-Doh dream house thing you could get the where like steak just kind of comes out as it heals. And I'm like, oh, oh, snake, the steak's ready. And you slice it off at the edge. And like you got your little filet mignon puck. Just perfectly I don't know. Shaped. I don't know if the technology's there yet. I mean, we've got crazy medical technology. You think you just, if you, we applied it to keeping cows alive and perpetual um, sort of zombification hell yeah. escape, mm. then take all the I'm NASA sure. money that they're not using to go back to the moon and all put that. it towards the put it towards the cow all that. theory. They'll be regrowing cows no sooner than 2025. <laughs> I'd believe that more than Mars. <laughs> <It's> probably cheaper <laughs> just to let a cow have sex though. In the end, I don't know. I was cow. thinking that. Like, what takes cheaper. more hay to regrow a little cow injury or to turn a baby cow into an adult one? The research to determine the answer. That's the answer. <laughs> <laughs> that takes more hay. So I'm pretty sure we should just keep making cows the old fashioned. Isn't way. growing the baby just all the meat growing? Yep. Yeah. That, yeah. That's how you turn hay. To, that's probably the best way to turn <laughs> hay into meat. <laughs> I just didn't want as many cows to have to die. I wanted like uh, I want you ever see how right. so, like those trendy fuckers in movies will have like a wheat grass garden in their kitchen and be like, oh, and they'll like get some scissors out, cut a bunch of wheat grass, grind it up, make a little shake. I wanted that, but with an animal. Right. You know I how chickens the, nobody. I wanted a lamb meal. that lived in my cabinet, but its ass just kind of stuck out and a little bit would grow out and you oh there we go. How about this? You know how chickens nobody gives a shit because they're ornery and mean and like mm -hmm. peck at you. Sure. You care about cows because they're nice. They are. What if we made meaner cows? Ooh, that's right. If we're gonna genetically like you, like, engineer cows, just make like them you rough angry. them up and like slap make them, them around, real, and... make them mean cows, and then nobody feels bad. I think they started mean, and then we so did too. this to them. So we need like a Jurassic Park, like cloning the original cows to get them back. I like them docile and right. friendly. They are I mean, great. They're... They yeah, cows like giant but dogs. You're the one who has a problem with killing them. I don't. I want to kill fewer of them. That's, I want to kill I, I, more. That's that's one of my favorite, like, scary. It's like, you know how you can go to Red Lobster and get the fat one? I want to do that over fucking lamb.